Look, Charleston White throwing shots at Vlad TV. He say he a cheap motherfucker. He tried to pay him 2K for an interview. It was kind of when he was first starting, but everybody know he started like already going up. But yeah, yeah, Vlad wasn't really trying to pay. Despite what Boosie say, they say Boosie making anywhere between 50 and 100 messing with Vlad. But uh, yeah, Charleston say, yeah, he's a sucker. He don't like the format. Uh, you got to wait a month to get the full interview. He constantly uh, just reusing the material for monetization purposes. Yeah, 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 bro. They say Vlad is CIA. He's a culture vulture. I'm starting to believe it, dog, because after this little whole argument with Marlon Wayans, he just keep going, saying all type of shit. And how he did Jaguar right on Piers Morgan, bro? No respect. Yeah, yeah, do get no respect from me. And, and if you really look at DJ Vlad, he's an ugly motherfucker. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, man. Drop it in the comments. Look, WAC 100 throwing shots at Jaguar, right? He says she a conspiracy theorist and she's a C-list uh, bro artist that's never been allowed in those rooms. Look, WAC 100, it was the 90s, bro. Everybody was allowed in them rooms. You're talking about when people like Tritch ruled the world, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. Maybe you wasn't shit back in the day because you... You hadn't beat up stitches and became famous yet. You know what I mean? You was from Pacoima. You know what I mean? Yeah, come on, Wack 100. Don't go at Jaguar, right, bro? Because you on the wrong side of this shit. You know what I mean? I don't even know why. I don't even know what you get from it. But all your little hundred side bullshit, bro, on the Jaguar, right? Gotta stop. But I fuck with you, though. But you gotta stop that shit. You know what I mean? You're from Pacoima. Remember that, bro. So when you wasn't shit, Jaguar Wright was, bro. And she was allowed in those places. And she wasn't just a background singer. She's got talent, bro. Go do your homework, bro. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Y'all drop it in the comments. But WAC 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some Fugazi-ass bullshit you talking about right there when you go against Jaguar Wright, bro. Get on the right side of this, man. Go on and get in front of this because you looking like you uh, might be... Fucking with the diddler. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. Uh, chill out, man. Y'all got to chill, bro. Yeah, leave Jaguar right alone. Please. Squash from the playground. Look, Chris Brown being dragged in a new documentary. They calling him an unapologetic um, woman abuser. It's some other abuser coming out that say she want him stopped. She want him put down like an old dog. You know what I mean? Like, I did I don't know this side of Chris Brown. I don't know if this documentary is true. Who am, who am I to say it ain't? You know what I mean? CB, if, look, if any of this shit true, bro, like, uh, go ahead and get in front of this, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, look, I don't believe it until I see it, and this has been out of the media, bro. I thought CB was doing good. I know he say he ain't Christian, he Piru, but I didn't think, you know, all this bullshit was going on, so... What's up, bro? Drop it in the comments if y'all know anything about this CB situation. But everybody getting a documentary these days. And once the documentary comes, we know what follows. You dig? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't looking pretty for CB. Look, R. Kelly appeal rejected by the Supreme Court. He will not pass gold. He will not $200. And he will, will, will not collect $200. And he will not be coming home, people. Yeah, he filed the appeal to the Supreme Court for his federal sex crimes. Statue um, basis of limit uh, on the basis of the statute of limitations. You know what I mean? What well, they told him the Protect Act extends the statute of limitations, and appeal denied. He will be serving, you know, his term. He'll be in there indefinitely, man. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly. Well, what he got going, he might not get out. On top of that, they got a new documentary on him that's. His daughter, Joanna, saying he did something to her, bro. So he was touching his own kids and all this other type of shit. I don't see how he still got fans, you know what I mean? But if it's all about the music for y'all, it's all about the music for y'all. But keep it there. Now, when y'all start talking about R. Kelly personally, I got to look at y'all like, man, come on, bro. He was touching his own kids. What's wrong with you people, man? Drop it in the comments, bro. Uh, R. Kelly canceled. He should be. If he not, something wrong with y'all, dog. Y'all need somebody to sing that bad? I might be a singer for y'all. I'm joking. Scars from the playground. Go check out the music, man. Look, Quando Rondo headed to prison for 35 pounds. You know, look. 
I, now this is weird. Uh, he say the city of Savannah or whoever was trying to get him, so they put that on him. 12 kilos is about 35 pounds, bro. It's a kilo is about 3 point, what, 3.5 pounds of grass. You know what I mean? Look, I thought this was something, bro. Bro didn't change his whole life around. He know right from wrong and all this other shit over this weed, bro. I uh, man, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, man. Shout out to Quando Rondo, you know what I mean? But I just thought it was more, bro. I just thought, it, man, dude should be happy as hell. Like, he be looking kind of sad and all this other. Bro, you should be happy over some weed. Oh, man. Yeah, I, once I heard that, I'm like, bro, bro should, you good, dude. They, I mean, just considering about if you take him for the lyrics, he could have got stopped for all type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, go on, sit down. Go on, sit down. I don't know if he got enemies in there or whatnot. You know what I mean? But he gonna have to go do his time. He say he was prison ready anyway. You know what I mean? He was prison ready anyway. So this shouldn't be nothing old Kwando. You dig? But yeah, 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 bro. We're gonna see what happened with this one. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I thought it was a little more, bro. But bro going to distribute they was planning to distribute 35 pounds like man y'all must got a snitch in the organization bro that's why you can't trust everybody man look watch who you keep around you you know what i mean and y'all start with the bullshit why be it already gave him a million so uh anything criminal he shouldn't even be involved in bro i'm just being honest i'm just being real bro drop it in the comments look lord jamar Look, he's back, bro. But Lord Jamar throwing shots at Diddy. Look, he say everybody know Diddy was fired from Uptown Records in the 90s because he was caught with a man. Yeah, yeah. He said he did what he did because he's the dealer. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Um, it makes sense. Behind the scenes, everybody knew. Everybody knew Diddy been bisexual since the 90s. So that means everybody that called Diddy daddy, Bro, y'all got, <laughs> look, y'all, well, you know what? Y'all ain't got nothing to answer because once y'all on record calling him daddy and we know who Diddy is now, uh, oh, bro, that's all we need to know, bro. That's, you done told me everything I need to know about you when you say y'all going to daddy's house. Oh, yeah, I was just at daddy's house. Uh, oh, baby, I'm going to daddy's house. What is that, bro? Yeah, man, all you people are suspect, bro. Everybody that had any ties with the dealer, and trust me, it's gonna come out. Cause if you went to that party, you know you done fucked up, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know you done fucked up. Look, you can't drag Drea cause she was with the son, even though she had a son his age. You know what I mean? She was the first one that they showing like, bro. That's nothing though. We expected that from her. She's a whore. You know what I mean? But you, uh, all you other motherfuckers, bro, that got something to lose. I don't even look at Will Smith the same no more. Yeah, yeah, bro. I tried to watch the new Bad Boys. I can't even look at Will Smith the same no more, bro. Yeah, yeah, Will Smith, you're a fucking disgusting piece of shit. I'm just being honest, bro. And the way Jaden Smith be all over Bieber, you taught that boy to be a piece of shit too. Yeah, it ain't nothing about the LGBTQPR community. It just like some shit is just... You know what I mean? Some weird shit going on in Hollywood, bro. Drop it in the comments, man. Charleston White throwing shots at YSL Woody. Say he never connected with him. Yeah, yeah, never really connected with Woody. That was just for online purposes. And they had like a pretty good relationship online, good chemistry, but they wasn't compatible. He would never run together. They would never be able to run together in real life. Uh, but he made a hundred K being on screen with Woody, so it was well worth it. You know what I mean? Well worth it. Uh, he say why is there Woody diminishing his value? Cause his content is oversaturated. Cause he keep doing the twenty versus ones, twenty v ones with Shamar. I don't know what's going on with why is there Woody and Shamar, but at first why is there Woody had choked Shamar up. I, I guess it was just all cap, cause now he hugging Shamar and trying to get a date with them. You know, they on a show together, so are they trying to have a threesome? I I, I don't know, bro. I don't know what's going on with Woody. You, you can't really figure this guy out. You know what I mean? You can't figure him out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, what's going on with Woody, bro? Uh, drop it in the comments, man. Scars from the playground. Look, 6 9 signed a $6 million deal with Cartel Music. 
some people might say he's back, but he, he no, he ain't back. You know, he going for a whole different crowd. This is for the Spanish speakers. Spanish speakers only. He planning on touring to Mexico. Now he gonna get a million dollars to complete the album and 250 a show. If he do that, it's gonna add up to six million dollars. Now, it's certain stimulations, he can't get in no trouble, he can't go to jail. You do that, you lose everything, bro. You get nothing. And the music you recorded, he only got to do 10 songs, but on, on, the music you recorded will be forfeited and you get nothing. That's the rule. So we're going to see what 6 9 do. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, man, 6 9 is a snitch. Gunner's a snitch. Um, Rollo potentially is snitch. Look, bro, all of them snitching. You know what I mean? All of them snitching. This is how the OGs stay in the game. You know what I mean? They be snitching, bro. But that's why they say if you can't do the crime, if you can't do the time, do not do the crime, people. Please, please. They say all this civilian. If you over here, bro, and you ain't in the American military, you are a civilian, bro. So stop all that and acting like the gangsters or... All this, the gangsters, the look, all y'all are civilians, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless y'all train professionally with this MIP map like myself, yeah, you are a civilian, bro. So don't just be yourself, bro. Look, Scar's from the playground. Uh, this is gonna conclude tonight, but y'all just be who y'all are, man. And, and just don't try to be something that y'all are not. You know what I'm talking about? That's like the best information I can give. Look, Scars from the Playground. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in later. Tell your friends. Um, tell your family members. Laugh a little. Maybe have a drink. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Scars from the Playground, man. Peace. If they throw it, I'ma catch it to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap, people tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business.